So I've recently been getting a noise from my Jeep on the rear end and I found that the noise was coming from the A-arm. Now I do run an Iron Rock A-arm which has their flex joint and honestly I've seen people talk bad about these so I just want to clear up some information about these joints because what I found is pretty interesting. So on my Jeep, I've been running the IROC A-arm for four years and I got the A-arm used. So this bushing, it's about four years old, probably older. I don't know because I got it used. So I am not sure exactly how old it is, but for sure about four years. Now I messed up and I didn't maintenance my bushing. So these do have four bolts that go into it and you're gonna wanna retorque those bolts. I don't know how often, but so every so often you're gonna wanna retorque those bolts because they can get loose with all the vibrations from driving, off-roading and all that. So that's one thing I didn't do. The next thing is you wanna grease the joint as well. This is a plastic piece. Uh, I'm not sure what type of plastic, but these are plastic. And then there is that metal joint, the ball, which sits in between those plastics and that's what moves around. So you have friction going, you know, around like this as you're driving the Jeep, as you're off-roading, this is moving. So you definitely want grease between those two pieces. Now, I've seen people complain online about clunking from these joints. And honestly, from me taking mine apart and from the maintenance or lack of maintenance that I've done on it, I think that the issues come from that. People not greasing the joints, people not retorquing them. Um, like I said, this plastic is four years old and I thought this is where my issue was coming from. I thought that the bushing was going bad, so I ordered a new set, but I ordered the wrong ones. But taking this apart, I realized that the plastic seems to be fine. I thought that it would be worn by now and it's not. So what I think is wrong with my Jeep is that the bolt that goes through the bushing and into that base plate that holds the bushing on top of the axle, I think that bolt was not torqued down. That one should be 120 foot pounds. And I don't think it was because when I loosened it, it was pretty loose. You guys will see in the video. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it and take it all apart. I ordered the wrong uh, plastic bushings. So I'm going to end up putting these back in because I think that they're still good four years later. And I 100% recommend you guys to upgrade to the Iron Rock A-Arm or the Core. I don't have experience with the Core 4x4 one, but definitely upgrading the stock one to one of these will be better for you in the long run. And especially if you're lifted because you will go through the ball joints pretty quick when you're lifted. And like I said, this is four years old. I haven't replaced it, haven't greased it, and it's still fine. Anyways, let's just jump into the video. So here's some of the stuff that I had to pick up so we can replace this joint. The replacement bushings from Iron Rock off road and honestly like if you look at them they look like they're 3d printed so i mean the one that i've had on my jeep has lasted lasted a long time so it is what it is so we got two of those for the replacements i also had to pick up a quarter inch torque wrench because i didn't i didn't have one and then the grease gun so we can grease it up so we're gonna go ahead and remove the a-arm let me show you what it's doing and why i'm replacing it so i'm gonna move the body of the jeep and you're gonna hear it clicking So that noise is coming from the bushing. So we're gonna go ahead and unbolt it and then remove the bolts holding in the bushing. And I'm gonna try to do it without having to remove the whole AR. So first things first, we're gonna loosen this up. So we're just gonna try to do everything here. It's kind of tight, honestly. All right, we got the nut out. And what I did do on the other side, I put a ratchet strap holding it back so that the axle doesn't rotate forward while, while I'm taking it off. Hopefully that works. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that works. I'm not sure if it will, but that's the plan. So a nice thing about having a lifted Jeep is you can literally fit underneath it pretty easily, to be honest. So it makes jobs when you have to be under the Jeep nice. So you don't always have to lift it up. There we go. All right, we got the bolt out. Now we should be able to lift it. Nice. So now we have it out and I'm going to loosen up all the little bolts here in place. That way I don't have to, you know, remove it. What I am noticing though, and I'll show you guys, as I am lifting it, I can see the rubber. It's still intact, but it is ripping in some places. So I will eventually upgrade these rubber bushings to the Iron Rock joints as well um, they have a kit so you can do that and what that'll do is it'll give you more flex on those joints instead of them being rubber and ripping over time granted i've had these for like 
two or three years, so they've lasted a good while. And you can get rubber replacements too, directly from Iron Rock. All right, so what I'm using is a 3 8 wrench and then the, the size four Allen socket. And a socket will not fit on the nut side because it's so close to the edge of the sleeve it goes into. So you definitely have to hold it. All right, and we got one out. I see a lot of people asking about these A-arms. Honestly, they are worth the upgrade. In my opinion, they are because it just makes it so much easier to replace parts on it. If you try to replace a stock A-arm, you know, sometimes those are a little fun to do. It can take a couple hours depending on your situation, but those ball joints definitely always go out, especially if you're lifting. And having this A-arm, it actually is way stronger than the stock setup with the ball joint. So do I recommend this? A hundred percent. I know Core 4x4 sells one as well, a similar one. Um, I don't have any experience with them, but the Iron Rock one, I really do like. And I think the Core 4x4 uses Johnny joints for the joints instead of the Iron Rock, how this one, they do their own house joints. And I bought this A-arm used a couple years back Probably, probably like three or four years. I'm, I don't remember exactly. Honestly, I've never greased this joint. I know, bad on my part, but I don't think I've ever greased it. And maybe that's why it probably wore out finally, but definitely grease your joints. All right, so we're on the last one that has to come out. And then that, that metal washer that holds the bushing in place, it's already wanting to, to come out. Okay, there it is. All right. Oh no, oh no, it's rolling away. Now I want you guys to see something. So this, I just removed, right? And look how dry they are. There is literally no grease on this. So just saying, this is definitely my fault for lack of maintenance. Um, honestly though, these are not in bad shape. Like if you hold it to the ball, they're pretty snug. Um, I don't really see that much movement. So I don't think that I needed to replace them. I probably just needed to grease it up and retorque them. And I think it would have been fine. But since we got the new ones in, we're gonna go ahead and use them. Oh, I don't even know if I got the right size ones, to be honest. They look a little smaller. Yeah, they are definitely smaller. But I got these for the A-arm, so I'm not sure what happened there. Let me do some research and then I'll come back. So like I said, since these seem to be fine, I just think it needs to be greased and then retorqued. We're gonna go ahead and do that because I ordered the wrong one. So on their website, they have this joint listed as A-arm chassis bushing. So that is for the part that goes on the chassis where I have currently the rubber bushings. Um, so that's what these are for. These have the six holes. Now they have another bushing on the website listed as flex joint, large four hole. It doesn't say A-arm in it, but those are the bushings that go for the, the A-arm on the axle side. So if you're gonna buy some replacements, make sure you get the ones that say large four hole. That's what you need. Not the A-arm chassis bushings. Anyways, like I said, this thing is like super dry. There's, there's no grease on it. So I'm gonna pack some grease into it uh, before assembling it back together. And then we're gonna go ahead and retorque all the bolts, even the mounting ones, because I'm sure they've gotten loose over the years since it's been on there for a couple years. And yeah, I've had this A-arm for about four years. And these are currently still decent. So considering that I never greased them, I mean, I think that these joints are worth it. You know, even though they do look like they're 3D printed, they're good quality. And one thing I forgot to mention is I said quarter inch drive, but what we need is the inch pounds. Um, so the bolts that go into here, you tighten up, you tighten them up at 70 inch pounds and then do another round at 85 and then they're torqued. And that base plate that holds the bushing, it actually needs to be torqued down to 80 foot pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and retorque those. And then the one that, the bolt that goes through the bushing, it's supposed to be 120 foot pounds, which I don't think it was because when I loosened it, it was pretty loose. So I think that's where my noise was coming from. So I'm gonna make sure to torque those down as well. Okay, so I don't think this is gonna be very easy to record so you guys can see, but I'm gonna put this in there and hopefully this is, the issue we we're having. So I already ended up greasing the ball joint before installing it. This is just making sure that we got enough grease on there. So I'm gonna put in one side. And I'm gonna put some bolts through it just so that we can line it up fairly easy. So that's how I'm installing it on this side. If there's one thing I hate about working on cars is grease. Grease to me, like having oil or anything on my hands, I hate that, man. That's why I usually wear gloves, but I don't have any rubber gloves at the moment. Luckily, huh? 
I mean, it's all pretty simple. I'm sure you guys understand how this goes together. All right, so I think I got them through enough to be able to put some nuts on it. We got one nut on. So I'm just doing it hand tight for now, and then we'll hit it with the torque wrench after. Okay, so I already went around and hit it with 70 inch pounds, and we're gonna go and hit it with 85 now, just to torque all the, the four bolts on here, and then we can finally put it back on. We're almost there though. Now, it is possible to do it in here without taking the whole A-arm out, so in case you guys were wondering, you can do it. I guess it depends on the size of lift you have too. So I have four and a half inch springs in the rear, and that's giving me enough room to, to do this. It's a little bit difficult to get a wrench on it, but you can. There we go. That's one, two, three, and four. All right, so now we are ready to get this in. So now we got the bigger torque wrench at 120 foot pounds. And we have to stick the bolt through it first. And what you can do is you can pull and push on this drive shaft to uh, tilt the axle back and forth. I do have a ratchet strap. I might have to undo the ratchet strap, honestly, because it's just a little short. Got it um, almost all the way through. I think I just need to hit it and we should be good. Bam, now we got that through. Put the lock washer, lock washer, and then nuts. And I know I get a lot of questions from you guys. Why is the nut here when it should be on this side? This is how I bought it. I never took it off and it's been fine. I mean, it hasn't gotten stripped or anything, so I think it's fine. But yeah, this should be on this side. You guys are not wrong. Brother, the Harley guy's out. Hell yeah, brother. It's always nice when you can only do one click on the torque wrench, huh? That's what you get when you buy it from Harbor Freight. All right, we got it all torqued down. Now, it's no longer making any noise. So I think that's what it needed just to be torqued down. Okay, so I learned a lot today. Uh, the fact that those joints are actually good we got it all back together again, and now when I move the Jeep, there's no more clunk. So I'm assuming over time, some of the stuff got loose. Uh, we put grease in there because it definitely needed some, I didn't have any. Uh, torqued everything down, the small bolts to 85 inch pounds, and then the larger bolt that holds the bushing in place to 120 foot pounds. Now, everything seems solid now. Um, there are some pros and cons, I guess, to these type of joints uh, compared to the Johnny joints. Johnny joints is a C-clip that holds it versus this. It's four bolts that you need to go in and retorque. Uh, another thing about these bushings, it is no longer a rubber style bushing. So it is going to give you more road noise, I guess, in the end of the day. I don't think it matters. It's an off-road car. Like, it is what it is. Is it hard to rebuild them? No, absolutely not. I did it without even taking the A-arm off. Um, if I took it off, I'm sure it would be way easier, but... It, it can be done. I also do have the same style joints in my front long arms and also on the axle side in the front. I think they are worth the upgrade in my opinion. And then especially now seeing that I haven't greased this since I put the arm in, which was about four years ago and, and it was used. So it already has some time, some use on that part along with not retorquing it. So I was not maintaining it right. And the fact that those plastic pieces are still in good condition, still usable. I mean, it's solid now. I give that a 10 out of 10. Like I would definitely, I would definitely recommend these two people, especially the A-arm upgrade. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down below in the comment section. If this video helped you out with some of the Iron Rock products and how to rebuild those bushings, leave a like and share with a friend and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.